Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a late and extra video to upload today. And um, this is my third quarter inventory um, of, my, of my makeup collection. Um, so this was supposed to be filmed in July, but I ran out of time to uh, to both film it and edit it. So I just went ahead and um, I am now getting to it. It's in August, but I'm gonna be going based off my July products. I did have a couple of empties from July, but I'm just gonna include them in um, with the uh, inventory because technically they were in my collection at the beginning of July and I just finished up. I think it was only like three of them but I'm not going to tell you which three um, because they are spoilers for my 21 and 21 um, project pan, um, which I will have coming up later this month. So um, yes, in the meantime, I will just be going ahead and um, getting this video together and posting it today, as well as my uh, pan those eyeshadow palettes update should be going up today as well. So um, I just wanted to go ahead and get this one done because I was late on it. Um, also, I wanted to just thank you guys for all your comments. I am sorry, I have not been good at responding to comments for the past like three months. I feel like I just am not very good at getting on here and responding. And I feel really bad because I love getting you guys' comments. I love hearing your feedback and um, just getting your ideas and everything like that. I love having you en engaged and involved in this um, in this whole journey with me. Um, so definitely keep commenting. I will get to your comments. I am sorry that I'm not very good at following through and actually just sitting down and replying to them all. Um, but I will be, I, I'm going to, to get better at that. I, that is something that I want to work on. Um, so it is a goal for me to actually like create a system in which I can easily sit down and reply to all your comments, maybe like once a week or once every two weeks or something like that. Um, but yes, as this isn't, uh, this is just a hobby for me. It is kind of hard to make time to just sit down and reply um, to all the comments, but I do appreciate them all. I wanted to let you know I do appreciate your comments and I really love having you guys here um, and getting your feedback. So don't stop commenting. I will reply. <laughs> um, but in the meantime, yeah, let's just go ahead and jump into this inventory and we'll start off with our primers. All right, starting out with primers. I had two primers in July, so um, beginning of the third quarter, two primers, my Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer, which has been in for a little while. Um, I've had this since the beginning of the year, I think. And then uh, this last month, I ordered the Victoria Beckham uh, by Augustina Spader. Uh, this is the bronze uh, version of the, it's the golden, it's the golden version of their, whatever this is called. It's the Cell Rejuvenating Priming Moisturizer. Um, so yeah, I haven't had this one too, too long, but I have gotten to use it a, a good amount, a decent amount, you know, here and there. Uh, and I really like it, <laughs> um, which is good and bad because it's really expensive, uh, but uh, it's really wonderful. I really, I really do like it. Uh, it gives a very nice, subtle, but uh, pretty bronzy golden glow. Uh, so yeah, that's my primers. I did forget to say uh, my goal for primers. So I have goals for each category. Goals for primers is to have two. I had two at the beginning of the quarter. So yes, happy happy with sticking to my goal. Two primers at a time. Very nice, very good. All right, here are my concealers. I have three concealers and my goal is to have three concealers. Um, however, I'm thinking about changing that. I'm thinking about taking it down to two because I have found that concealers take a while to use up and they don't have the longest expiration times. So I don't know, I might, I might keep it at three for this year, but next year I might drop it down to two. I have the Rare Beauty Concealer um, in the shade, I think 120, yeah, 120C. Um, I have the Pat McGrath Concealer in uh, light two. And then I have the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Chantilly. And I like them all. Don't like this one as much as I like these two. These two are fantastic. Really love this one. Really, really like this one. This one's fine. This used to be like my Holy Grail concealer. And it's just not my style anymore. I don't, I don't love it. It's okay, but it just doesn't really do it for me. 
Um, so yeah, I, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> All right, on to foundations. I actually had four uh, foundations last month. I knew I was getting towards the end of this one and I wanted to have a new foundation to be like a backup for it. So um, yes, yeah, so I did have four at the beginning of the month. My goal is to have three at a time. So I am a little over my goal, but again, I knew this one was getting empty. So I wanted to have a backup. So I still have my Charlotte Tilbury, like the mini sample size of the Airbrush Flawless Foundation in one neutral. I really love it. I have the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint in three ballos. Um, I really liked it, but it doesn't work for my skin. So yeah. Um, then I have the Rare Beauty. Uh, I don't even remember what this is called, but it's the Rare Beauty Foundation. It's in the shade 140C. Uh, I really, really love that. And then I recently purchased the Giorgio Armani Neo Nude True to Skin Natural Glow Foundation. This is the uh, 1.5 is the shade on it. I really, 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 really love this. I've only had it for a month. I've used it a handful of times. I already love it. It's fantastic. Don't even know. <laughs> I don't know. It's just great. So yeah, that, that's my foundations. Next up are powders and I have two powders and my goal is to have two powders. So I've got the Pat McGrath Labs under eye powder. Um, I really do love this one. This one actually does a really, really great job, particularly with the Pat McGrath concealer, but just in general, it, uh, it really does a nice job of blurring out underneath the eyes. So I use that practically every single day, if, if not every single day. So I do like that one a lot. Um, apologies for the dirty like packaging. I don't really know why it's so dirty. I keep it in a drawer, but I guess it just has gotten really grubby. I need to clean it off. Um, this one is my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, and it is just the translucent shade, I think. Yeah, the trans transparent. Um, so this one is my face powder. I use this just like all over the base. Um, I've started just using it in the T-zone um, because I find I don't really need it on the cheeks. Um, it's fine. It does its job. It does a good job. It's cheap. I don't know if I would repurchase it or not. Uh, as you can see, I've got a good amount of pan in there. I use this pretty much every single day, if not every single day, just like this one. So yeah two powders. That's where I want to stay. All right, now we're on to bronzers. I have five bronzers currently in my collection. This one is in this originally, so I depotted my uh, bronzer out of my NARS Atomic Blonde palette and put it in my butter bronzer um, container. It was empty from last year, so now I've got um, it in here. I repressed it that way. Um, I've got my bronzer in here, um, the Charlotte Tilbury's Film Star Bronze and Glow. I've got the City Bronzer. I've got a little mini from NARS, uh, the Laguna Bronzer. And then I've got my Duck of Scarlet Mistake Proof Bronzer. Um, so yeah, five bronzers is what I have. My goal is to get down to two. I, I just want a shimmer and a matte shade of bronzer. So Eventually, I'd like to empty them out. I don't know that I'll be able to get down. I might be able to get down to three, mm, maybe by the end of the year. We'll see. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, uh, I'd like to get down to two bronzers. And uh, uh, yeah, so I'm kind of happy with where I'm at so that I can get closer to my goal. Okay, my two pa face palettes have remained. So the NARS Atomic Blonde has a highlighter in it and my Charlotte Tilbury Bronze and Glow has a highlighter in it. And these are my highlighters. I also have five highlighters. Um, my goal is to get down to two. Uh, originally I said three, but I think I wanna get down to two. Um, I haven't officially changed that on my spreadsheet, but I'm pretty positive I just want to. Uh, highlighters take forever to get through, so. I don't really feel like I need more than two, and <laughs> so my ultimate goal will be to get through three of these. Aside from my two highlighters in these palettes, I have my NARS Fort de France. I have my Franken highlighter that I created out of my Becca Vanilla Quartz and Milk Mars highlighters, and then I have my Wet n Wild Precious Petals highlighter. So here is an exciting one. I have my blushes here, um, and my goal is to have four, and I have four. So. 
I hit my goal uh, this last quarter. I started the year with seven, two of which were like just samples on a cardboard piece of paper, so they took no time to finish up. And then I finished my Milani Luminoso. Um, so now I am down to four blushes. Um, so I've got my NARS Sex Appeal blush. I like this one a lot. I've got my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk blush. I like this one a lot. <laughs> I've got my Pixie Beach Rose, which I like a lot, and my Mistake Proof blush. Um, in Savage, which I really, really like a lot. So yeah, I'm happy with my collection right now. Uh, I do want to get them all used up eventually, but for now, it's great. All right, moving on to single shadows. I currently have 19 single shadows and my goal is to have five. <laughs> um, I am not moving through them very quickly. I don't use them a ton. I don't really know what to tell you. Um, I do want to work through them eventually. I've kind of started rotating through them, asking myself to use uh, one, at least one five times a month. Um, so like I pull one in. Currently, I've got this MAC Deep Truth um, in my drawer, and I'm, I'm working to use this one five times this month. Um, so yeah, that's kind of how I'm going about it as I'm trying to get them each just give some, some usage to my singles. Um, these were in a palette that I depotted. These two were, actually these three were in a palette that I depotted. And then these two, this is a MAC single. This is a Elizabeth Mott single that I repressed into a MAC, empty MAC tin. Um, these two are loose shadows from Naked Cosmetics. This one here is uh, Desert Sunset. And then this one here is called Mother Nature, I think. I think they have numbers, but I can't remember what they are. I, I put them in these containers recently because it's just easier to use and I think they look prettier. And then I have my two H&M uh, cream shadows that I really like. I hit pan in this shade Sirocco, Sirocco uh, earlier this year. I really like it. It's a very nice uh, cream shadow. And then this one is called Gentle Woman, I believe. And it's a beautiful uh, purple with like a gold shift to it. Um, I don't wear them very often again, but I want to start using them more often. So yeah, I do want to get down to just five single shadows, but it's going to take me a really long time unless I start decluttering them. Next up are my full-sized eyeshadow palettes. Um, these three are in my Pan Those Eyeshadow series. Uh, Pan Those Eyeshadow Palettes series, um, which is a hybrid between Pan Those Eyeshadows and Pan That Palette. Um, so I kept them closed because I don't want to give any spoilers, but I do have them arranged from oldest to newest. So my Lorac Pro 2 palette is there. My Huda Beauty Desert Dusk is here. I've got the Lorac Pro Matte palette. Huda Beauty Topaz Obsessions palette. Tarte Tartlet and Bloom palette here. Uh, Melt Blueprint stack here. ABH Soft Glam up here. ColourPop Going Coconuts here, and then Marc Jacobs Glambition down here. So yeah, um, nine palettes is what I currently have. I do want to get this down to five. Um, so these are my full-sized palettes, um, which is what I consider, I think it's six pans or more, um, equates a full-size palette, in my opinion. Um, and I, I want to get this down from nine to five palettes. And here are my mini palettes. I have two mini palettes right now. Mini is any palette that has five shadows or less in it for me. Um, so both of these have four eyeshadows. Um, this is my Charlotte Tilbury, the Vintage Vamp uh, eyeshadow quad. Uh, I used this on my, I wore this on my wedding day and I really love this palette. It's beautiful. It does a, does a stunning job. It's, it's just really, the formula is beautiful. Um, and then this is the NARS Atomic Blonde palette. I really like all these shades. The pans are freaking massive, like just insanely massive. Um, so they're gonna last me forever. Um, but yeah, my ultimate goal for mini palettes is three. However, I don't really care to get a third palette right now because I'm working through so many large palettes. So yeah, I will keep these here and uh, yeah, eventually move through them. Okay, we are getting close to the end. Here are my lipsticks slash lip glosses. Um, I keep them all in the same category because I find that it's just easier that way for me. Um, I am down to five lip products and my ultimate goal is 12, but my goal for this year is I wanna go through all of my lip products um, before purchasing any new ones just because I'd like to kind of start fresh. So we are down to five currently. I've got my Lancome uh, Labsolute Lacquer in 202. 
I've got my Lisa Eldridge um, True Velvet in Velvet Muse, my Tower 28 gloss um, in a chill, though now it's, you can see it's pink, uh, but it was originally the clear. Um, I've got my M Cosmetics. This is a mini of the, uh, oh, I can't remember what it's called, but it's the Faded Clementine. It's a mini of like the, it's kind of like a liquid lip. It's like a, a whipped formula, but it's really nice. I like that one a lot. And then I have the uh, NARS Afterglow Lip Balm Mini um, in Laguna. So those are my lipstick slash lip glosses. Next up are my lip liners. I have three. My goal is to have three. I've got the KKW Beauty um, 1 and 1.5 here. And then I've got the Becca um, Lip Definer, I think it's called, in Weekend, which that's new to me and I really, really love it. It's, it's great. I'm sad that they're no longer going to be a company this next month because, yeah, they have some really beautiful products and that one is one of them in my opinion. All right, next we have mascaras, and my goal is to have three mascaras, and I currently have three mascaras. I am, <laughs> I'm a little bit extra with my mascara, so I have the Tom Ford Badass Black Mascara and the Marc Jacobs Outlashed Mascara, and I pair these two together on the top lashes, and I think it's like the most perfect combination. I love it. I might try something in place of this just because I can't find it on the Sephora website, so I'm gonna, I probably am gonna try something else um, just for fun. But this is like my all time favorite uh, mascara. It's kind of got a weird formula, so you might wanna try like a sample size if you can before buying the full size because they're very expensive. But it is my favorite. And then I have really oily like under eyes, so I have to wear a very specific under eye mascara. So I have the M Cosmetics uh, Pick Me Up. Uh, like the, I think it's the tubing mascara. Um, it's, it's really nice. I just recently got that one actually. Uh, I think it was at the beginning of July. Um, so yeah, I, I've been liking that one quite a bit and I'm pretty happy with it. For eyeliner, I have the same three eyeliners that I've had all year. My ultimate goal is to have five, but right now I'm working through my Bobbi Brown gel liner and that one's taking me a really long time. So I just don't want to buy any more, um, because eyeliner just in general, lasts you a good while. So I don't want to purchase one when I'm trying really hard to get through um, that one right now. Um, but then I also have my um, Makeup by Mario Brightening uh, Pencil, which I use in the inner corner pretty much every single day. And then the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in Anywhere Caffeine. And I use that one in my waterline every single day. Um, and I really love that combination. I feel like it works really, really well for me. So yeah, those are my three eyeliners. For brow products, I still have the same, uh, well, it, I have the same brow pencil, um, which is the M Cosmetics Fine Liner Brow, I think it's called, um, and I really like that one a lot, um, but I've been working on a, an eyeshadow, so it's kind of hit the back burner. I do want to get it used up soon, though. Um, and then I have the M Cosmetics Flexa Brow as my gel, uh, brow gel, and I that is actually a new one. Um, I just replaced my previous one because I used that one up and I really like it. So um, yeah, I'm very happy with this combo and I'll probably stick with this one pretty well. I'm not much of a, I don't know, I don't really care to change up my brow routine too much because I'm pretty happy with how it works. Here is my primer. I just have one eye primer. I want to just keep it at one because they take forever to get through. I love the Fenty Beauty Primer. It is the best primer I've ever used. It is perfect. Um, so hopefully they will never get rid of it because I would like to continually repurchase it. Um, also, I don't think I said my brow products, I have a goal of two and I have the two. So very happy with that. And finally, we are onto the last category. Here are my setting sprays. I have a goal of two and I currently have two. Um, though this one is <laughs> just about gone. Um, so this is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist. I really like this one. It's pretty cheap and it's nice. Uh, it does a good job. Uh, so I use this one very, very regularly, as you can see. Um, very much like this. Will almost definitely repurchase it. I might try something else just for the fun of it, but I, I will probably just go ahead and pick this one back up. And then I have the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless setting spray. Uh, and this one I do like quite a bit. Uh, it's been, it's been a good, good one. I'm about halfway through it, I think. So yeah, it's done a good job. Uh, I, I like it and I'm happy with it. So yeah.
And here, just for the fun of it, is my Where's Waldo of makeup products. So this is all of the products in my collection together. So that is everything for this video. Um, that is my update, my third quarter update. Um, I'm really happy with where I'm at um, going, going forward into my collection. Um, I've made some really good progress and I think that in my next update, I will have a really good um, change to my collection as well. So if you enjoyed this video, feel free to comment, feel free to like and subscribe. Um, again, I always, I love having you guys as part of this community with me. Um, and I just, I really appreciate the time that you give to my videos. Thank you all so much for being here and I will see you in the next video. Bye.